What is the power grid and why should it matter to you? The grid, also known as the transmission, is essentially the wires and cables that carry electricity to your home. Take Ade for example, who lives in Ojota. Ade has a television, a fridge and an air conditioner in his home. The cables that are on poles outside Ade's house go into a transformer and from there to his meter which in turn goes into all the wires to provide power for Ade's home enabling him to watch his TV, listen to his music, get cold drinks from his fridge and enjoy cool air from air conditioner. Well, this is what we call the power grid. The power grid is responsible for transporting electricity from Nigeria's power plants to homes and industries around the country. In order to successfully transport electricity over long distances, you need to do so at a very high level known as voltage. Otherwise, the electricity won't have the power to travel far. Power plants, regardless of the source, whether gas or hydro, generate electricity at levels that are not high enough to travel over long distances. So, to give the electricity enough strength to travel along distances, it is increased to 330 kilovolts in a transformer or substation. From here, the electricity passes through high capacity cables. These are the big thick wires you see mainly along our highways. However, while this capacity is needed for long distance transportation, it cannot be allowed into our homes. Oh no! Otherwise, Ade will find all his appliances fried. So, once the power arrives its destination, it has got to be reduced before we can consume it. Transformers are used to reduce the high tension to the 220 voltage that we have in our sockets. So, Ade can power his fridges and air conditioning. Occasionally, this process fails and we get power that isn't strong enough, which in our parlance is low current or even more dangerous power that is too high. There are only a handful of places like industrial areas that are designed to use higher voltage electricity. Today, Nigeria has about 27 power plants which are generating electricity by using either gas or hydro. If you add up the generating capacity of these plants, it makes up what is called the installed capacity. That is, in theory, the country has the capacity to generate about 12,000 megawatts of power. So, why is the nation still struggling with 4,500 megawatts on a daily basis when there is an installed capacity of 12,000 megawatts? There are two main reasons. Problems with a grid and problem with gas supplies. The grid in its current state can transmit only about 5,500 megawatts of power. That is its current capacity. Add more and the grid will collapse. Some gas power stations have never received any gas. Some plants haven't even had gas pipelines connected to them since their commissioning. So really, they cannot generate power. And then, there are the constant attacks by Niger Delta militants on gas pipelines that feed the functional power plants. The current grid as we know it was largely built and expanded during the 1960s. By then, the electricity was enough for a much smaller population. With a growing population of about 180 million people, it is estimated that Nigeria will need as much as 160,000 megawatts of electricity to become a successful industrialized nation. Expanding and fixing the grid requires huge investment. Just one kilometer of the high voltage cable costs 100 million naira. Expanding the transmission grid is likely to cost more than two billion dollars per year. That is 600 billion naira each year. To put it in perspective, it's 10% of the total 2017 annual budget of Nigeria. In the years between 1999 to 2015, the Nigerian government has spent about 2 trillion naira on the power sector alone, yet not more than 2,800 megawatts was added to the grid. Meanwhile, the transmission company of Nigeria says it has developed a 5-year grid expansion plan 
which should increase the grid capacity to 20,000 megawatts by 2022, with additional megawatts coming from hydro, from wind, and significant megawatts from solar, and mostly using the abundant gas for more power plants in places like Lagos, Edo, Calabar, Ihobo, and Amotosho. The questions, though, remain. How much do we need to spend? What will that give us? How long will it take? And is that the best solution to solving the electricity shortage we face?